Hi, I'm Wolfgang Hermann. I'm the owner of Central Virginia Radon here in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'd like to welcome you to our website, which has all the information you need to know about radon, health risks, testing, and what you can do to reduce radon levels in your home. I also have a map which indicates the higher radon levels in this area. Right now, I'd like to take you to an example of an installation that we did right here in Charlottesville. I'm Wolfgang Hermann. I'm the owner of Central Virginia Radon in Charlottesville. We are here at a job site and we're going to be working and installing a system here. The house is three years old, has 4,000 square foot and it, the radon level is about 14. We're going to use the garage over here to install a system that will run from the basement into the garage and up into the attic here and out through the roof. So we'll be totally hidden except for one pipe that you'll be seeing back here in the garage. Okay, we are here in the finished part of the basement. We're gonna work over here, another section, the unfinished part. Um, we're gonna have our suction hole as far as possible into the finished part over here because it's so large. Uh, but right now we're going to work on our connection to the garage, which you have seen from outside. The garage is over on this other side. We just drilled a hole going straight for the outside wall into the garage here. And next we're going to be out there and connect up into the attic. Okay, we just drilled a hole into the attic. Down here, you see this is our connection right here to the basement. Coming out here, up here. And then we're gonna go into the attic from here. And now you can see the pipe here that is coming through the garage up into the attic. We're gonna connect it, drill a hole through, and install a roof boot. We have completed the installation and we ran a follow-up test uh, with our continuous monitor. Now before we started the job we had a radon level of 14 picocuries per liter. And you know the government regulation requires a measurement or an average below 4 picocuries per liter. So let's see what the results are. I can see here the average is now 1.1 so that's very good. The maximum was 4 and the minimum was 0 0.2. So from all these data that we have over three days of measuring every hour, then we have 1.1 as average, which is really an excellent result. So the owner can be very pleased with our work.